Another reason to think twice about what you write on Facebook. Police in Nashua, New Hampshire say that the social networking site was used by a ring of suspected burglars to target 18 homes in the month of August. How? Plug vacation into the search engine of a site like youropenbook.org and see whose status says they're away. Then icanstalkyou.com takes it a step further, revealing the location of pictures posted online. While these sites may seem like the bad guys, their message is about raising awareness about sharing personal information inadvertently. I spoke with pleaserobme.com's co-founder, Boy Van Amstel. What we tried to do was to show people that it's very easy to, to get location information from the internet, especially if you share it yourself, and that a lot of people could um, interpret that information differently than you might expect or want to. So they, you might be inviting people to get your stuff. Apps like Save Face can help by automatically setting all of your Facebook privacy controls to friends only and hide your IP address with anonymizer software. When you surf or post, your location remains anonymous. And some techies think that as we become more acquainted with our digital lives, it comes down to one thing. It's, I think it's very important, important to just use common sense. Would you, would you stand up in a metro and scream where you, where you live? Probably not. So would you put it on Twitter? It's, it's kind of the same thing. It's very easy to just stumble upon a Twitter profile and, and look through the information that's on there. So are we becoming our own big brother and is privacy just a thing of the past? Leave a comment and let us know what you think. For CBSNews.com, I'm Shira Lazar.